Welcome back, iTunes 11 users. This is Alan Grant here with the iTunes blog slash help site. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to show you a little bit about visuals and um, how to make iTunes 11 look a little bit like iTunes 10. If you're just now opening the program, you may realize that some of the things that you uh, may have had showing in your iTunes 10 are completely missing in your iTunes 11, um, like the uh, menu bar. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find the menu bar. If you click in the top left corner and scroll down, you should see an option that says show menu bar. From here, you'll see the file menu, the edit menu, the view menu, the control menu, the store menu, and the help menu. Now, in the iTunes 10 version, there was a bar on the left that would show you your music, your videos, uh, your apps, your books, and anything else that you may have downloaded. It also showed your playlist menu. Well, in the new iTunes 11, you can click on this to switch between uh, whatever options or whatever media options you'd like to view. But another way, an easier way, and uh, something that you may be more accustomed to after switching from iTunes 10 to iTunes 11 would be to show that left status bar. So, uh, excuse me, the left sidebar. So when you go to view, you scroll down just a little bit and you see an option here that says show the sidebar. Well, why don't you click on that option and you'll see that this is very similar to the latest, uh, to the last version of iTunes. Uh, you can click and switch from your music to your movies, uh, to your podcast, uh, and even go down to your DJs, your recently played playlists, all the things like that. So another thing that you may be missing is your status bar at the bottom. The status bar had all the music that you had, uh, how long, uh, how many how many gigabytes worth of music you've had. Uh, just show the status about the volume of music in your library. So if you want to see that status bar at the bottom, scroll down and you go to the show status bar option. and this will tell you about my playlist that I have uh, 835 albums, uh, 19.2 days worth of music, uh, for about 45 gigabytes. So it's not the largest library, but it gets the job done for me. So um, just keep scrolling down here, and uh, everything will get kind of, you get accustomed to everything after a while of playing with the program. Another cool thing is uh, this top section here. Uh, the way they've broken down the music so you can show your songs in one list right here and you can sort them by the name of uh, the artist the album the genre your rating and uh, how many plays that they have and also you can even add even more things that you may want to sort by um, I could even sort by the date this uh, song was added so if you're looking for a song you're thinking oh well um, I got this song around January sometime where well, you can scroll down and look for January and say hey okay there's a song right here when February I don't even have songs from January but uh, February so whatever month that you're looking for you can find that music um, if you scroll back over and click up here with the albums, you can get a, a list of all the cover art for your albums that you have. And another cool, neat thing about this is that once you scroll down, let's scroll down for a good album that we can find, uh, Drake's Take Care. You'll see that all of the music for these albums are right in here. So um, if I want to just go ahead and play one, I can click on any of these or I can select this uh, play triangle right here and it'll play the whole album. If I just want to play one song at a time, just click on that song. Um, if you go up to the next tab, which is your artist tab, uh, you get a look at all the artists here on the left and it's just another way to uh, sort through your music. Um, this iTunes 11 makes it really easy to stay organized with your music so it's not too much of a problem at all. See, here's all our Drake music that we have and it's all sorted into the albums by uh, the, the uh, track number in each of those albums. Um, we can move on even to a, another genre. So I have a couple of different genres. Um, electronic music, if I want to check out some of my electronic music, um, I have some MGMT and Owl City here. Not a lot, but these are two uh, pretty good artists. So um, 
you can sort all your music by your genre if you have a, a certain crowd that you like to play for or a certain music type that you're into uh, you can go ahead and play all of the songs in that genre or again you can just play the album and you can play the song individually uh, there's also options for uh, streaming online radio so um, you can go to the hip-hop category and iTunes will find uh, as many internet radio options as they can for you and the options for this are endless I mean you see right here at least 15 plus options of different music and within each one there are even more radio stations so your your listening options are endless really for either iTunes and this is the new match feature and I'll be getting into this a little bit later but this is a, a feature that you pay for and uh, for $25 a month um, you can stream your music anywhere on the cloud or any of your devices you'll find them and they'll be in a high quality high quality uh, playback rate so that you can uh, listen to them and a uh, great listen to if the, some of your songs aren't in the best quality uh, if they're on the cloud then you'll be able to listen to them whenever in a high quality uh, but that'll wrap up this tutorial uh, come back again for more information on the uh, iTunes help blog and we'll get you straightened out. If there are any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.